All right, coming in at number 70 on our Locked On Sends NHL Draft Rankings for 2024 is a defenseman that's already found his way almost full-time into pro hockey. It's VT Vaisenin, and he is a six-foot defenseman playing in the system of Cuckoo in Liga, where he played 50 games, had 10 points, and found his way as high as number 36 on Craig Button's NHL rankings. Yeah, Vicenin is a very interesting prospect, Ross. Like, anytime you get a 17-year-old playing in Liga, it's impressive. But how about when you look at this guy, or 18 years old, sorry. He might have been 17 at the start of the season, though. Uh, Playing 50 games in Liga as a defenseman is so impressive to see. Uh, clearly the coaching staff has trust in this guy and he's getting minutes too, Ross. Like he's not one of those guys that's just on the bench. Like he's playing. I'm, I'm looking at his game logs here. Very few games. He's under 10 minutes a night. I would say just ballparking it. He's probably averaging 12, 13 minutes a night on a Liga back end. So this is a guy that he has skills that allow him to be a responsible defenseman in a man's pro league at a young age. So there's a lot to work with here if you're an NHL scout. There certainly is. He actually played the first 19 games this season in Liga, went to an international tournament, and then came back to uh, the J20 League. So that's kind of how he started the season. So he's obviously very highly touted or had a great camp to make that team. Um, I, I'm actually pretty high on this kid now that the more I've been able to do some digging because it seems like the more that you watch him, the more you notice the little things that he's doing. He's not going to blow you away offensively. He's not going to make every highlight reel. But it feels like every pass is on the tape. He's a great, like, complimentary partner. Much how earlier this episode we talk about Dylan DeMello. I know right shot, left shot. But that's kind of the mold that I see from Vicenin where it's like, you, you as a coach, you're always going to be willing to put him out on the ice because he's not going to put you in any vulnerable situations by taking too much risk and not be a very safe defenseman would be the way to sum him up. Yeah, I would agree, Ross. I, I think there's there's a lot to like about him. Uh, he's a smooth skater with nice poise. Uh, Wheeler really likes his hard shot and puck handling abilities. Dauber Prospects mentions how he's a two-way defender that closes gaps well. He's a mature player. Ross, a player comparable or prospect comparable that's really jumping out to me when I'm looking at VT Vison in here kind of reminds me a lot of Lassie Thompson. Uh, you had a guy that was getting pro experience at a young age, touted for having a hard shot. We talked about the Tom bomb when uh, Lassie signed in the SHL describing where did things really not really click for Thompson and him not using that hard shot. It was a big factor in him being limited. And then EP, they did a write up um, a little write up about each player on team Finland's U18 team. And for a Vison in here, I thought this was interesting it says he's a solid base as a player and already recognized by scouts. This event will play an important role determining how much offensive upside he has. So that kind of reminds me of Lassie Thompson, right? Like you're comfortable in his base skills. Lassie is a good mobile skater, decent defensively, but where he's going to shine is can he use that attribute he has, that hard shot, to really put him above other prospects. And we'll see. Unfortunately, Thompson wasn't able to do that. We'll see if uh, Vicenin is able to kind of correct that and do that himself. And further to Thompson, where it's decision-making at times can be questionable, according to Scott Wheeler. So that's something to keep an eye on. But all the tools are there for him to be able to make the jump, head over to the AHL in the next year or two. And when you look at, I mean, 50 games in Liga this yeah. past season, I don't know how much more seasoning he needs if he does want to make the jump over to North America. I think a team would be welcome to have him in their AHL farm system sooner rather than later. When it comes to the rankings, I mentioned Craig Button has him at 36 and, and Bob McKenzie at 73. So you got to love when there's a huge discrepancy and even better when two of our scouts are high and two of our scouts are low. Um, Scott Wheeler at 44 and Elite Prospects at 85. Usually, not usually, maybe sometimes or okay or 50-50 would be Wheeler and EP agree with each other yeah. a little bit more and Bob and Craig a little bit more. So a polarizing defenseman with an average ranking of 59.5. 
He's a February birthday, so not necessarily one of the oldest kids in the draft. He leans that way, though. Six foot, 177 pounds. I should note, though, left shot defenseman. Does that affect your three stars? Four, or sorry, your five stars. You've been you've been giving everybody three stars so far as we're 10 prospects into our top 80. But Pilsy, where are you for five stars on Viti Vaisenet? Before I give you my star rating, just a couple other things to look at here, Ross. Uh, in eight U-20 playoff games, he had four points. But what I'm really looking at is he was averaging well over 20 minutes a game. So he he plays consistently in Liga. And then in U-20, they're like, you're our top guy. Like, we're going to be playing you in all situations here. So that goes a long way. And also, his very first Liga games ever we're in the playoffs. So this, this is a guy that they trusted enough to be like, Hey, we know you have no uh, pro experience, but let's just toss you right into a playoff lineup and see how it goes. Um, now, as far as my star system here, spoiler alert, Ross, you did give it away. I'm going to give VT vast, uh, Vicenin a three out of five star rating here, just because I, it's a left shot defenseman without one defining attribute other than his shot. I don't think the Senators need a guy like this. I'm not sure where he's going to end up in the draft either. Seems like a high floor, low ceiling type of player. And I don't think the Sens uh, really need that in their system right now. So three out of five stars for Vicenin. I would be comfortable t- taking him in the fifth round or later for Ottawa based on what the system looks like right now. So with one of the Or one of those fourth round picks, maybe? Nope. Not even those? I said what I said. Okay. Fifth round or beyond. Just because left shot, you're like, okay, is he going to be ahead of Donovan? No. Hamara? No. Nordberg? Probably not. Like, there's just too many lefties deep in the senator system. And obviously, I'm not even mentioning the guys who actually have a chance, like Tyler Clevin and 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 more. So, no. I'm going fifth round or later. left Because especially, like, you draft best player available in the first round. You draft best player available in the second round. After that, like, I'm looking at the Sens prospect pool if I'm Steve Steos and this staff. And I'm saying, where do we need to reinforce the most? And undersized left shot defenseman without any glaring must have strengths. Not the way I'm going for Steve Steos, but I think a team with less depth at the left defensive spot, it's a good organizational depth piece who might surprise and make the NHL sooner than we think for more. Go check us out at locked on senators. 